So, hey guys, today we're going to be discussing a little bit of a ruling. So, first off, we'll let my opponent take a turn here. So, they're just going to try to do their pearly things, and then they'll go to the backup plan of, oh, uh, guess I'll uh, ma make UDF now. I don't know why they decided to pick Delicious here. But, uh, yeah, they, they, they picked Delicious, and uh, yeah, Delicious isn't quite useful in hand here. So, uh, yep. We're going to go through the Strike Angel of Mischief, bring back um, the Dolahan, make Angel of Mischief, make uh, UDF. So that's gonna happen. And we'll wait for a little bit. And we have full uh, knowledge of our opponent's hand, I believe. Okay. So, yeah, we, we have full knowledge right now. And, okay, for some reason they decide to go Delicious to draw one, and it doesn't really draw anything meaningful, right? No, wait, it does. So they have one unknown, and then this is Ghost Rick Shot, and that's also Ghost Rick Shot, right? Oh, wait, what? Is that the case? I don't remember exactly what it was, but anyway, it's not important for what we're doing here. So we're going to negate you to Draco Future here, and right here. Now this is going to be the weird part, okay? So I'm going to Normal Summon Time Thief Regulator here, so then we have Time Thief Adjuster. This says, if you Normal or Special Summon a Time Thief Monster except Time Thief Adjuster, Except during the damage step, you can special summon this card from your hand. So as the turn player, we're starting a new chain when we essentially summon the Time Thief Regulator here. So I get the first response because I have priority here. So we have Time Thief Adjuster, and my opponent has Effect Bailer. And this makes me wonder, how the hell do you even account for this in real life? But, uh, anyways. Uh, Time... Uh, Thief Regulator gets Normal Summoned, and my opponent knows that my uh, Time Thief Regulator tributes itself for cost, right? So if you control no other monsters, you can tribute this card for cost, Special Summon to Time Thief Monsters with different names from your deck and defense position except for Time Thief Regulator. So in this case, um, Regulator, if it is negated on field by Effect Failure before it tributes itself, it will indeed be negated. So if I attempt to activate Regulator Effect here, Regulator will not be able to resolve, and it will just go straight to the graveyard doing absolutely nothing. But conversely here, I have also not yet activated Time Thief Regulator, but okay, so now we're going to look at Chain 1, Back Filler, Chain 2, Time Thief Adjuster. So this is a quick effect, so quick effect to Fact Filler. I already actually said no to Time Thief Adjuster once. But then when I saw the effect filler, of course, I have no other plays, so I'm going to, of course, activate Time Thief Adjuster to uh, Special Summon. Also, I cannot activate the other effect of Time Thief Adjuster because it's only uh, one effect per turn, but okay. Because of this, it makes me wonder, like, is this a bug or is this intentional? How would this work in real life? And also, that this would be a bit nightmarish to kind of, like, deal with, right? So, in this case, right... Would we need to call a judge for this to help us out? Like, just thinking about playing this in real life, let alone simulator, this is already confusing. So, like, I normal summon Time Thief Regulator. So, if my opponent passes back Bio and doesn't use the effect failure, I'll be able to just Time Thief Regulator for two guys, right? If, um, we look at it from a different perspective, um, then... We go normal summon time thief regulator. Uh, how do we check if I actually have Pio or my opponent actually has Pio immediately after time thief regulator is summoned? Like for our hand card effects, how do we check that? And wouldn't that like kind of give our opponent extra information if we have like hand triggers or not? Because the timing of hand triggers is actually different. Would we have to say we have a hand trigger specifically? Well, I mean, in this case, it would be obvious, but if I had back row, would I have to say something? Would I be able to like bluff that I have something if I say thinking when I have no actual responses? Like I, I just have something useless set like in this case, maybe a transaction rollback for whatever reason. Like that, that that's all like pretty nightmarish for me to think about. So we'll just 
think about the game that we're currently looking at. All right, so here, the MV for regular is negated, so I will make Dugaris. We will then use uh, Dugaris' effect, and they're, they're using this effect because it's just annoying them, I guess, whatever. So we're going to use Dugaris' effect to draw, and uh, it's two good ones. So we have rates off and preparations, nice. So we're going to prep here, grab the unicorn, and then we're going to go battle. Crash Dugars, this triggers regulator effect. Regulator can now activate its effect to do the special summon, which I haven't used yet. So we'll grab Bezel Ship and uh, Winder, and I'm going to immediately make a misplay by adding regulator instead of uh, the trap, but it is what it is, I guess. And then here, we're going to make uh, the Redoer. Effect of Redoer. And then. Uh, that banishes Redoer, we go Kashira Unicorn to grab Birth. We're going to banish uh, Benrir here. Then we're going to simply make Zeus. And then uh, we're going to birth back uh, Unicorn. And then with the preparations, we can bring back the uh, Benrir. Uh, I, I was supposed to set the uh, counter trap here, but, but whatever. Grabbed Regulator. So we do this. My opponent has literally nothing against this board, so, yeah, that, that's great. And, uh, yeah, it, it's just GG, I guess. But, I, I don't know how this ruling would work in real life. Like, if I technically passed, that, that was me technically passing on a trigger, so... I, I don't know how, how this actually works. Like... It would make sense if I was activating something else, I guess, instead of this card, so it could be a higher chain, right? But would this be considered me passing on a trigger? I guess it wouldn't be. Would it? Uh, well, yeah, it's confusing. If we actually go to, like, Fire King cards, for example, let's see. Actually, yeah, that, that's a bit more confusing, honestly. Because uh, with the Fire King cards, if I were to uh, resolve my, uh, uh, let, let's say I have multiple Fire Kings in the hand, I believe only one of them can trigger for some reason. So like, hand triggers and those types of cards, I, I don't fully understand the rulings even. It's just, yeah, I'm a bit lost, that is to say. So uh, yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. And uh, if someone understands how the, these ruling works, Please share them in the comments below. Like, I, I straight up don't know, honestly. So, uh, yeah, it'd be helpful. So, uh, yeah, that's all I got for you guys today. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.